Okay. And now I'll show you how to put them together so that you can set up a syringe driver on your patient. This okay. is a clean procedure, so I've gone away and I've washed my hands, I've taken my uh, wristwatch off so I can clean up to my wrists. I'm actually wearing a pinning as well, so and if you could then wipe this surface down so that if you could do that in the home, that would give you a much better place to start preparing this. I'm going to start by putting all the active ingredients and the dilutant into the syringe, and I'm going to use a 20 ml syringe, and I'm going to put in the bustle pan that we're going to use today, and bustle pan used, as you know, to dry out secretions at the end of life, and put that into the syringe, then put the um, extension lead and the safety into my cannula together and I'm going to put it into this willing arm which is a friendly grapefruit so that you can see how the whole thing gets together. Alright so let's just start by opening that. Nice thing you can keep that in there and it keeps it nice and um, clean, sterile. <clears throat> You can have a few more of um, the small syringes too because you might want to get a, get a stat dose <coughs> of your um, drug if you arrive at a home and somebody's got a pain or a symptom and you might want to um, use your syringe, small syringe just to draw up a stat dose and give it with a subcut. This is 20 milligrams of buscopan in 1 ml and I'm drawing it up in a smaller syringe so that I can actually see if it is 1 ml and it is but sometimes you'll find that there's more of the drug in there and you want to be accurate so using it in a separate syringe can be really helpful. Now I'm going to put that into my main syringe. Careful when you do this. That's it. Add it into the water, and the water is here. And I've already added the water into this syringe. I hope that's clear for everybody. So now, instead of having one mil, I've added extra water to make it up to about 15 16 mils. And I'm going to have to measure that. But before I do that, I'm going to add the label so I know immediately if I could call away, somebody knows exactly what is in this syringe. That one here. Make sure you don't put it on which, where you can't see the markings on the syringe. I've put on here the drug, how much and what I've diluted it in. I've put the time and I've put the date and I've signed it. I'm still keeping it in my nice little clean place there. <coughs> and now I'm going to measure how much is in here. And I'm measuring from the dark bit of this barrel, if you can see where I'm measuring it from, from there, to the first line, and that's 56 millimetres. Okay. And I'm just going to, I've measured this as you've seen, and i put the label on there, it's resting in there, and I'm just going to get the extension lead out, and here it is. Luckily only one end will fit the syringe. And many a time I've done that wrongly, but this is the end I hope it does. Yes, there we are. So immediately we have that. And as I said to you before, take these clips off because they can easily clip on by themselves. And for this, you need a pair of scissors. Sometimes you can clip them off, but I usually use a pair of scissors. So here's the other end, and that's the end you want to um, you want to attach to the safety internet. And um, you can do that before you actually insert the safety internet itself. And what I normally do is to attach it to this end because this is the part that you need to put into the skin, and then you pull this bit back, taking out the sharp part of the um, cannula. Or pulling out the guideline. So if you put 
Nice little laundry here. Hold on, let me just put that down there again. It's get a bit tight sometimes. screw it so it screws it tightly. Now we have an integrated system here. I'm going to take off this second clip because that again can clip on just by itself and obviously it occludes the whole line. So now we have the safety intima and the syringe ready. Now all I have to do is to prime it. So I'm going to prime it you may be able to see this, but I'm keeping the top on because that's thorough and that's the part that goes into the patient. There we are, primed. Now, before I take it to the patient, I want to re-measure this and see how many millimetres are in the syringe. I said I was going to measure the syringe and here I am measuring it. And we're measuring it from that black part to the measure the first measure and if you can see that's 50 exactly 50 millimeters it could be 49 it could be 52 but this particular one is 50 millimeters okay 